My name is Mark Allen Magleby, and I am the Emeritus Director of the Brigham Young University Museum of Art. And it's my privilege today to share some thoughts about Maynard Dixon's Forgotten Man. Maynard Dixon is one of the strengths of our collection here at the Brigham Young University Museum of Art. Uh, Harold R. Clark, formerly the Dean of the Business College, uh, who during a, at the height of the Great Depression went down to visit Maynard Dixon in his San Francisco studio and came back with over 80 works of art that day. We are so grateful to have this body of work. We are the strongest collection of Maynard Dixon's work of any museum in the world. When we look at uh, this particular work that has become incredibly iconic, we're looking at a moment, uh, 18, 1934, at the height of the Great Depression, and we're looking at a, uh, a crowd of people passing by on the sidewalk. And you can see that, uh, that there is a flow. They're all walking from left to right. They are striding with big strides, some of them very confident strides. And that is the background to this forgotten man, this singular man who is sitting on the curb beneath them, unnoticed as they pass by. You can see that some of the people are dressed in normal clothing, ordinary clothing. Some of them have um, highly fashionable uh, cues that you could see. For example, the spats on this man with a, with a, um, a striped suit. Uh, he clearly is of an upper class and has a prominent uh, position in society. And all of these people have a place to go. We see that in the flow of humanity except for Maynard Dixon's Forgotten Man, who namelessly is sitting there uh, in shadow. His face is turned downward. He is not illuminated by the strong sun that is shining down on the rest of the people. He is, his hands are inert. They, he has nothing to do with his hands. He is seated on the only seat he has, which is the curb, the gutter. As we look at this man completely deflated, we notice that there is, even in the gutter, not enough water to drink, even though he's next to a, a fire hydrant that could burst forth, you know, like water from Moses' rock. But it's not. It's everything is withheld from this man at this point. And so he is at his lowest state. He has no opportunities. One of the things that brought America out of the Great Depression was World War II. And when international countries were asking for help from the United States, we were providing uh, munitions for England and, and we were preparing for war ourselves. And this started to allow ordinary people who had been out of work to try to get jobs. And, and so there's, there is something on the horizon that we would hope but it's, it's still a few years off based on the date at which Maynard Dixon is painting this painting. And as we look at this man who, uh, who has lost all hope, I think it's interesting that the, that the artist, that Maynard Dixon painted his shock of blonde hair almost as if it's fire. And as you look at, the, it, you, as you look at that kind of fiery uh, directional uh, uh, combing of his hair. You see that there is within this person someone who has ambition, someone who is, who is thinking about every possible way that he could provide for himself or his family. And so that shock of golden hair shows possibility, ambition, even, even maybe uh, a, a certain kind of luck that will be poured out upon him. Uh, but right now, he doesn't get it. He doesn't, he doesn't know that there's anything forthcoming. World War II allowed the United States to become a wealthy nation uh, by providing provisions for all kinds of, of allies. And so you see here that this man could fairly soon have a factory job. We, he would look forward to accepting that. And so we are not left without hope as we look at this. 
I think it's interesting that this uh, particular painting has probably, before the Museum of Art was even built, this image was used by a number of presidents of the university in their office. And I've heard, for example, um, uh, President Dallin Oaks comment on how much he loved this painting when it was in his office. There is, there is both devastation and hope taking place in this uh, particular work. And as we, as we stand in front of it, we are rooting for this, you know, this forgotten man that he might have every opportunity henceforth. This painting is one of the greatest works of Maynard Dixon. We are privileged to have it here in a gallery of great men and great women. Uh, and this is, a, uh, and it is an opportunity to come see in the, in the Museum of Art uh, originals, original works by Maynard Dixon and by many other artists. We look forward to having you here. Thanks for joining us today.